Um, hello, my name is Clayton, I'm from Brazil, and I'm going to present the work how the lack of knowledge management policies affects employee behaviors on educational institutions. Uh, let me start introducing to you what are the federal institutes. Federal institutes are schools maintained by the Brazilian federal government that offer a variety of courses, ranging from high school courses for to doc doctor programs. They work like universities, so uh, in federal institutes we can conduct research projects and extension projects with the community. And there are 38 federal institutes spread across all the Brazil. Each federal institute has several units that we usually call a campus and there are uh, more than 600 campus. I work at Federal Institute of Paraíba, Campus Monteiro. It is the Federal Institute of Paraíba State in Northeast of Brazil. All the Federal Institutes follow the same Brazilian federal law, but each one has the autonomy to define its own regulations. To follow these regulations is important to guarantee the legality of the acts of all employees, but we are approached by a couple directors who said that employees have a hard time following and learning about the regulation, and this is creating a problem when they are opening petitions to ask something. They ask us to develop a KM2 to improve knowledge sharing among people who work at EFPB. Uh, before I start to develop the app, we decided to investigate if other di directors uh, also share the same feeling. We conducted a survey to find uh, how employees of the Federal Institute of Paraíba react when they need to make a petition and what is the current state of KM policies in the Institute. Our survey was targeted to employees who have experience in manager positions. Uh, here we have a description about the characteristics of our respondents. We, we received 46 answers in 72 hours. Most of our respondents are male teachers. In addition, uh, our sample is composed by mostly experienced employees. However, uh, the experience, their experience in manager position are spread across all our options. We asked uh, the volunteer to say what are the strategies that employees apply to search for information when they need to structure a petition. As we can see in this figure, most of the respondents say that employees ask someone. Only a few volunteers said that uh, employees who has a doubt read this, the internal regulation of the institute. We asked volunteers to quantify in which frequency each one of the episodes happen. These episodes are related to problem while in structuring petitions. As we can see here, uh, most of our volunteers have experienced constantly a colleague asking them about how to structure a petition and usually they have to explain more than once to the same person how to structure the same type, the same type of petition. In addition, they also said that constantly they have to explain multiple times to multiple colleagues the same thing. We also asked uh, what a employee does first when he has a doubt about how to structure a petition. And as we can see here in Figure Three, uh, most of the respondents said that they usually ask someone. They usually use the village paradigm to find information when they when they need. We found that respondents agreed that employees doesn't know about all the types of petitions. We also found that the organization culture encouraged the use of village paradigm to find information, but regardless of that, usually there are many problems regarding knowledge management policies in EFPB. Finally, majority of our sample stated that EFPB does not follow a KM practice to improve their organization workflows. Uh, I want to thank you for listening to my presentation, and I want to thank the organization of TEN for allowing me to present to you in this manner. Last, I want to thank EFPB Campus Monteiro, my workplace, for support or research during 2020. If you have any question about our work of 
or if you want to have access to our data, you can email me and I will send to you.